In these early days of the exchange, there was one question in everyone's mind. How would people of two such different cultures live, work, and play together for the next five months? It was, I think, uh, either the first or second weekend after he had arrived, and, um, you know, I wanted some time to, you know, really get to know him, you know, and have him, you know, get to a point where he was really familiar with me, you know, where we could really be good friends. And so um, myself and, and several of my friends um, went down to Cape Cod for a weekend, you know, to a house that we have down there. And condition in China is not too, it's not as the same. It's not the same as America. So why is, why is your nearest or nearest friend drive your car? I feel as a American, their condition is very good. It's very high. So you just admire. I just admire. This trip to the Alberts Cape Cod home was one of many events that gave the Chinese students a chance to compare Chinese and American social life. That is the situation or condition is different. For example, uh, we can run to near uh, summer house to to have a to spend one weekend, but in China, most families they don't have too many houses, they don't have too many rooms for for their son, children, for their children to, to have a party. The population is huge, so we not have uh, too much space for people to, to play and not too wide rooms to, for people to live. Lu <laughs> Meng was amazed to see American teenagers so interested in the opposite sex. He saw them kiss and hold hands in the hallway. But in Chinese, High school, they don't, boys and girls, they, they're not very, they're not the same as American students, uh, like, <laughs> uh, like kiss, like hug, like that. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, in high school, we, we just, we can talk with each other, but we don't do that. Yeah. And in high school, the most, uh, the teacher said uh, the task in, for high school students they just for they just do well in their do well in high school and do well in examination and and other things not do that because they think this is waste time Many times during the exchange, the American host families of the Chinese students took a new look at social customs they'd always taken for granted. Well, we had Halloween while he was here. And did you ever stop to think of what a funny holiday that is? I never did until we looked at it through his eyes. I never joined like this kind of party in China. <laughs> but the Chinese students discovered more than advanced technologies from their hosts. Living with Neil, Joe, and Hella Alpert, Lu Meng got an inside look at American family life. I think Hella's thinking is, uh, is the same as my parents' thinking. Yeah. <laughs> and in China, I often uh, heard, of, heard of American parents 
their parents. They don't, uh, re, uh, they don't take care of their children too much. They, they let their you know, children free, I think. But in China, the parents, oh, they take care of their children, <laughs> I think, is uh, pretty well. <laughs> so the students all oh, get, there's the, I think, is the different feeling from their parents. Yeah, but why I came 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 here and live live with Heller, live with uh, Abbers, the Abbers, I feel they are just, they like their children very much. <laughs> yes, at home, like the, the American kids always like playing with their father, like you know, it's just like the friends. Not in, not in China. The kids, they want to say everything they want to their parents. If they don't agree with the parents, they can sometimes they can yell at their parents like that. But not in China. By the end of the five-month visit, both Americans and Chinese discovered some perceptions of themselves and their cultures had changed. Having a Chinese member of the family and a boy from such a different culture live with us was like a mirror being held up to our lives. I all of a sudden began to wonder do we need all these rooms? <laughs> Must we eat all these food, all this food? I think I, I've changed a little bit. I think I'll be more practical. Mm. Yeah. Uh, like in China, if I have a pretty dress, I won't wear it in school. I'm afraid that people will laugh at me, you see. But now I think I dare. <laughs> I think we are affected by Western thoughts. I think so. Um, like, like me, I just want to do whatever I want. Just if it's, you know, legal. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I won't care a lot. Yeah, I, I won't be afraid a lot. <laughs>